Hi guys, JNM here with a new tutorial and this one is about Arduino and how to set up and program an LCD display. The guys from Illigo sent me the most complete starter kit for the Arduino Uno. This is the box that they sent me and here you can see what's inside. Very nice equipment, components that you can use out of the box with your Arduino microcontroller. Here you can see the pictures and in the description below you find a link where you can get this starter kit. And here you can see the most important component, the Arduino Uno R3. When you go to the Illigo webpage, you can download a documentation for getting started with this kit and I was really surprised about the quality. It is amazing and this is true for the components of the kit, the quality of the translations and how the different lessons are explained and presented. You will see this in a moment. I will open this now in English language. The translation, it's a Chinese company, is really good. Here you can see the different components and modules like LCDs, motors, cables, resistors. And these are the different lessons. What I want to show you in this tutorial is how to set up an LCD display and a simple example on how to program it. What you need is an Arduino, an LCD, a potentiometer, some cables and a breadboard. This is a so-called connection schematic and here's another image of the setup that I prefer. Here you can see which cables you need to connect the components, the Arduino, the potentiometer and the LCD. And after that you find a simple example on how to display text on the LCD. But we will do this together step by step. Ok, before we go ahead and connect the components, we are going to download the Arduino IDE, the Integrated Development Environment, which is free. And you need this for writing your programs for Arduino, which are called sketches. It is cross-platform, you can get it for Windows, Linux and Mac. The current version is 1.8.9 and I download it now for my OS, which is Windows. If you like, you can contribute to the software or you just go to the downloads. Ok, after the download is completed, I start the installer and I install the Arduino software, the USB driver and I also create the file association and the shortcuts. And after that we will build the setup with the required components, an LCD, of course the Arduino, a breadboard, 16 cables, a potentiometer and a USB cable to connect the Arduino to your computer. Alright, now I'm creating the circuit. In the lower left hand corner you can see the schematic circuit and you just have to connect the cables and components like it is illustrated there. Now I'm inserting the LCD to the pins of the breadboard, you have to do this carefully. And what you have to know when using the breadboard is that the pins of the plus and minus columns that you can see on the left and the right side are connected. This means that the power flows in a vertical direction for these and for the other pins in the middle, the rows are connected and the power flows in a horizontal direction. And another very basic info is that electrical power flows from positive to negative. Ok, so what I did here is I connected the positive port of the Arduino, the one with the 5 volts to a positive pin of the breadboard. And then we go ahead and connect the other cables to the different pins of the LCD. We also have to include a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer into the circuit to control how much power will flow to the LCD. When the circuit is up and running and connected, you can control the brightness of the LCD by using the wheel of the potentiometer. Alright, now I'm connecting all the cables and in the end you have to connect a minus pin to the ground port called GND of the Arduino in order to close the loop. I connected the ports 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 of the Arduino to the LCD and this information is needed when we are going to program it in a moment. Ok, the circuit is completed 
And now I'm using the USB cable to connect the Arduino to my PC. Ok, and there is light. And now as I said, I use the potentiometer to control the brightness of the LCD. Great! Coding time! I start the Arduino IDE. This is the editor with a new sketch and for each sketch you have two functions. A setup, that is called when the program starts one time and the loop is called as the name implies all the time. And the loop is your program, this is where your logic is going to happen. But before we start coding, let me save the file first. You can set the name to sketch, lc or whatever you like. And after that we have to define which Arduino board we are using. This option you find under tools, board. And we have an Arduino Uno which is already selected. Ok, the next step is now to see if we are connected to a COM port. I connected the Arduino with a USB cable to a USB port of my PC. And the COM port 8 is assigned, you can see this here in the device manager of Windows 10. And if you don't see your device here, check the installation of your drivers. Ok, the next step is to add a library to our sketch. Because we want to program an LCD and there is a predefined library called Liquid Crystal. The code of your sketch is basically C++ and now we are including a header file so that you can use the classes and methods to control your LCD. The first thing that we have to create is an object of type Liquid Crystal and the parameters are just the ports that we connected, you remember 7 to 12. In the setup we use this object to initialize the display, we have 16 characters for each row and we want to use two rows. So we call the method begin of the LCD object to initialize the display like that. Ok, after that I set the cursor position to the second character of the first row. This can be done by using the method set cursor. The index is zero based. And now we are writing text hello Arduino to this cursor location. So you can see the library and the programming is very intuitive. You don't have to go down to a very low level of programming. So it's very good for getting started for beginners. Ok, now you can go ahead and check if your program is correct. You just select verify compile. The program isn't sent to the Arduino. It is just checked if we don't have any errors, but we have an error here. But this is just a typo, I named the object LC instead of LCD to which I refer in the program. And after fixing this I compile again and now the program is correct. Ok, now we can extend the program a little bit in the kind of main function which is the loop. And in the example program that is described in the lesson of the Illigo kit, the current milliseconds are written to the second row of the LCD. But what I want to do before I write the text is to set the cursor to the position 5, 1 and I also add a delay so that the display is updated just every 500 milliseconds. Ok, and now we have to compile and bring the program to the Arduino and this is very simple. We just open the menu, the main menu under sketch. And instead of verify compile, you choose upload, which will compile the code and then upload the compiled sketch to the Arduino. Ok, we are done, the upload is finished and now we can go ahead and check if it works. So here is the LCD and hello Arduino is written to the first row. And when I press the reset button, the Arduino is restarted and the sketch that we uploaded is restarted as well. Ok guys, this was a very basic example. As I said, the Illigo kit is full of nice and interesting components and I added a link where you can get the kit to the description below. Please let me know if you are interested in more elaborated examples and I will come up with more tutorials about this. So thanks for watching guys, if you like my channel then please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. 
Stay tuned if you have any questions, add these to the comments. And as you know, you can support me by being my patron, this would really help a lot. I'll see you guys in the next one on JNM.